This is a study of <coughs> patients greater than 75 years of age, elderly patients, if you will. Uh, this is also from the French uh, myeloma group, and Dr. Hulin, uh reported the 229 patients who were randomized to malfalan prednisone thalidomide, and here you will note that the thalidomide dosage is a little less at 100 milligrams compared to malfalan and prednisone in the same dose, same schedule. Again, progression-free survival, better in the MPT, 24 months versus 19 months, and more impressively, the overall survival, 45 months versus 27.7 months, favoring the MPT. And the important uh, message from this study is, is not only the, uh, uh, the uh, superior results with MPT, but remember, these are in uh, quite uh, older, in the older patients. <clears throat> this is a study uh, from the Netherlands with uh, 333 patients greater than 65 years of age, and of course these were deemed ineligible for transplant. Uh, uh, the patients were randomized to MPT plus T or thalidomide for maintenance or just to malfalide prednisone alone. Response rate higher in the MPT, 66 versus 35 percent, and the overall survival superior with the MPT, 40 months versus 31 months. Another option for the non-transplant patient is bortezomib or Velcade, uh, and uh, uh, in this particular study, and don't get tied up with the uh, details here, but it is simply a study in which patients were randomized to receive uh, Velcade plus Malfalan and Prednisone or Malfalan and Prednisone alone. And here, the results of this study, uh, the complete response rate was 30% for the MPV uh, uh, versus 4% uh, for the malfalan and prednisone, and a VR partial response or better in 71% compared to 35%, and the duration of this response was also longer with the MPV, 19.9 months versus 13 months. However, there was a price to pay. Uh, patients who received the Valcade had reductions in white cells and uh, uh, hemoglobin producing anemia and in lowering of the platelets, but these were not uh, serious problems or serious side effects and could be easily managed. Uh, fatigue and ischemia weakness was also a problem with the MPV, but again, that was something that one could put up with. The major problem was the occurrence of peripheral neuropathy, and here you see that these patients who developed a grade three or a grade four, this is on the basis of one to four, uh, uh, was only, quote, 14 percent, but another 20 uh, percent uh, had grade 2 sensory motor peripheral neuropathy, and if you're a patient with grade 2 sensory motor peripheral neuropathy, you have a lot of pain and a lot of problems. And so even though the neuropathy gets better when the Velcade is stopped, it usually does not completely disappear. And that is why today, and one of the uh, uh, latest uh, discoveries has been the fact that Velcade can, can be given at weekly intervals rather than this twice-weekly schedule, and the results 
uh, from the standpoint of the myeloma response is about the same and the neuropathy is much less. So I would suggest that if any of you are taking Velcade twice weekly, that you visit with your doctor right now and uh, ask him about giving it once weekly. <clears throat> this is a study uh, reported by the Italian Myeloma Group uh, of 511 patients previously untreated, greater than 65 years of age, and thereby ineligible for transplant, were randomized to receive V, Valcade, M, Malfolan, P, Prednisone, plus thalidomide, uh, uh, and then after the induction, uh, the four months of induction, the patients were kept on Velcade and thalidomide at lower doses for maintenance, compared with the Velcade malfolan prednisone. Partial response, 89% versus 81%. Uh, Three-year progression-free survival was superior, 56% versus 41%, but the three-year overall survival was virtually equal in the two regimens. Now, what about the patient with relapsed or refractory myeloma? Getting down the road here a bit. And the first breakthrough was reported by Dr. Singal when she was at the University of Arkansas when uh, she reported that 32% of 84 patients who had severe refractory myeloma responded to this new drug, thalidomide. Uh, Dr. Barlegi shortly thereafter uh, with 169 patients reported a response rate of 30% and this introduced the novel agents to the treatment of multiple myeloma. The second novel agent uh, is uh, bortezomib or Velcade and this is one of the early studies in which uh, 669 patients in a multi uh, uh, group uh, uh, or multi-institutional study, these patients were randomized to bortezomib or to dexamethasone, and you can see that the bortezomib was superior <coughs> to the dexamethasone, both from uh, time to progression and overall survival. <clears throat> this is a large study, uh, 009, from Europe, uh, 010 from North America, in which over 700 patients were randomized to the identical protocol, and the results were virtually the same, so I've combined them on one slide. Uh, uh, these patients were randomized to receive lenalidomide and dexamethasone in the standard dose uh, versus uh, placebo plus dexamethasone, same dose, same schedule, and you can see the response rate, 60% versus 22%, and the time to progression, 11 months versus 4.7 months, indicating the superiority of the prevalent dexamethasone. <clears throat> 